So now we're going to have a look at the lock screen. We're going to start by just using a different background, but we're actually going to add some animation into the lock screen. We're going to do that by using a tool called Blackberry Composer. Composer is a 2D authoring uh, tool. So basically, we already have an existing pre-built animation already set up, and that's it. So basically, it's pretty simple. It's just three Bezier curves that are scaling in and changing opacity as they come. And then they fade out into the background. So we're going to add some text into this. So I have an image already. We're going to use the love image that I have. Center that on the screen. That looks pretty good. Next thing, we use our text tool, add some more text here. Add the do, love what you do. Put that in here, change the font to the Blackberry Love font. And change the color into white. Center that and put it off screen for now. Next, we're going to do a little trick here is basically we're going to create a wipe effect on the word love. So we're going to create a black rectangle and basically have it animate off to the right, which will slowly reveal the word love as it animates off. So we get this sort of effect here. Pretty happy with that. So you get that. Next thing we want to do is actually bring uh, once that word's revealed is bring in the what you do into the screen and basically have it bump into the word love and then they'll both shift off to the left here at the same time. So we'll do that. And there they come in. So then we select them both. Looks good. And then we'll have them stay on the screen for a little bit. And then by the end, when we're doing the reveal of the background, we'll just have them slide right off to the left. And that's basically our animation. Let's play that back. So that's, and we're pretty happy with that. That's our lock screen animation. So let's save that out. Export it out as an SVG file. Save that. And then we'll go back into Theme Builder. And in the SVG file, we'll load that lock screen SVG that we just created. And we have that in there. The next thing we want to do is actually look at the global section. So these are sort of global items for the, your whole theme. So progress bar is in here. So we're going to change the color of that to a lighter blue again, the blue we've been using. And we're going to add some screen transitions in. So as a 5.0, you can add screen transitions for um, going in and out of the home screen to the application screens, um, menus showing up, etc. So we're going to add some zooms and some wipes and some slides for the various different effects. And the last thing we have is actually I created an animation for the home screen as well. So we're going to put that in there and let's simulate this and see what it all looks like. So the simulator comes up and there's the precision Zen and there's our love theme that we've created so far. So there you see the icons popping in and out of the right and the left, which we set up earlier. And you see the screen transition going into the message list. You can see our cursors themed. See what a dialogue looks like. There's the buttons. And there's another screen transition that we can see going in and out. So we did a slide up, slide down on that. There's our application list screen. Let's click on the web link we made should go to mobile.blackberry.com and there we are next thing so there's another slide transition going into the address book 
So let's see what the phone screens look like. So we'll simulate an incoming call coming in. So there's the incoming call. And there's the active call screen. So we're pretty happy with that. Let's go back now. Back to our home screen. Actually, let's have a look at the lock screen. So we'll go back in and lock the device here. Look at our animation for lock. So that looks pretty good. That's what we just did in Composer. And the last thing we want to look at is the animation I actually brought in for the home screen. So I created an SVG file in Composer for the home screen. So if we navigate over to the Maps area, go right, and it brings us to this Easter egg area, which goes in the middle. If we hit Activate, we get this animation, which brings us back to that. So let's do it one more time. Activate on the... And that looks pretty good.